Hi, I'm Margaret Lewin, and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. Today is Tuesday, so that means it's Quick Tip Tuesday. Recently, I was working on a quilt that had a lot of white background in it, and it got me thinking about the color of thread that is used when we put our quilts together. So I wanted to show you what colors I use. There's really only four colors. I use Aurifils. Um, it's like a silvery gray. It's number 2600. Uh, it's a very, very nice silvery color that tends to blend quite a bit. I use Aurifils 2024, which is white. I use Aurifils 2310, which is a really light cream color. And then I use Aurifils 2370. This one I use with my darker ones. But I wanted to show you what instances I would use what color thread. All right. So I've pulled a bunch of scraps, and these are just scraps, out of my drawer. And I'm going to start with this one right here. If I was sewing a quilt and this was one of my main fabrics, my entire quilt I would sew with white thread, especially if there was a lot of white in the quilt. Now the reason why is because if I was to use this color thread, let's say that there was some of this color within the quilt, see how that thread just really stands up? Well, the same thing happens if that thread is caught underneath the fabric. It will really stand up, especially through the white. And you very easily could run the risk of the thread being seen through the quilt. So I would absolutely not use that one. The same goes for this fabric. If I was to do anything with this fabric, I again would use the white or I could potentially use the silver, depending upon what the other colors were in the quilt. If I had a lot of solid reading colors or a lot of darker colors and did not have any white in it, I could potentially use that gray silver. Gray silver does tend to blend right into the fabric, so this is probably my second most used color. I wanna get to another one here. On something like this that is an obvious, it's a batik, and this one, and this one, and this one, all of these, I would more than likely use the silver on these two for certain. On this one where there is such a huge contrast between a bright, in a light and then a dark, I again would use this. All right. Now on this one, this one you might say, oh, maybe you do want this one. You know, it, there's some real darker colors in here that it would blend in with. It would, this fabric would depend upon what my other fabrics were. If all of my other fabrics were in this darker color, then I probably would use that. Otherwise, I would stick with the silver, all right? Now, on to, I've got a couple more down here. On this one, if this was my only fabric, I would use the silver, maybe the white, but probably the silver. But if I was to put these two fabrics together, where I had a lot of white and a lot of dark, I would absolutely use my white. I would not be using my silver or a dark color, all right? This fabric here, I would use one of these two. I would either use this off-white beige or I would use the silver. The white I would not use unless all of my other fabrics had a lot of white in them. Otherwise, it would be one of these two colors, okay? Now I'm gonna get on to some prints here. Got a whole bunch of, I've got a couple of really bright prints. On this one, I'm gonna go with my lighter color. I'm gonna go with my beige. Now, if I was to top stitch it, I would use either the red or the green. 
I don't know that I would do the purple, but the purple might be a really nice shock of color that would be great. But that would only be my top stitching. For quilting, I would absolutely use probably, I'm looking, probably the green or the red I would probably use. I don't know that I would use the purple. I'd probably use the green or the red. And I would piece the quilt together with this. The reason why I would not choose the white is because I can see this background color right here is really more beige than it is white. So any coordinating fabrics aren't necessarily going to have a lot of white in them. They're going to have more beige. And on this one, this is actually a piece that I have to make a garment out of. On this one, I'm trying to think what I would use. On this one, I would probably use the silver. Um, it is going to stick out quite a bit, and that does make me worry a little. I might end up with this one. It's a darker neutral thread, so I might end up with this one. Or this one might really change my normal pace of only using these four colors, and I might end up with a purple for this fabric. Again, depending upon what I'm going to sew along with it. If I'm going to go over to whites, or really, really bright colors, then I would probably use the silver. Otherwise, I might just grab a th thing of purple thread for that one. So, if you ask me what are the most important threads to have on hand all the time, I'm gonna tell you, Aura fills 2600, Aura fills 2370, Aura fills 2024, and Aura fills 2310. Those are the four threads that are always in my sewing drawer. What colors of threads do you make sure are always in your sewing drawer? Leave a comment below. Leave a comment below so that I can see what colors are your favorite colors to have in your drawer. Thank you so much for sticking around. I hope you're having a fantastic Tuesday. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, please do make sure that you join us. We would love to see pictures of the projects that you're currently working on. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe so that you keep up to date on all the new stuff happening here. And don't forget, we're over on Instagram now. Thanks again. We'll see you really soon. Bye, everybody.